hello guys welcome to another tutorial in this tutorial we are going to create this nice top menu as you can see on the right side it has top contents and on the left side it has top buttons by default it displays the html contents but when you click on any of the button it rotates in a 3d way and displays the contents of the top so creating these tops are pretty simple so let's start it. Okay, let's define the basic structure of the HTML. Title will be vertical tabs. Inside the body element, we'll define a div with class equal to parent container. Inside the parent container, we will define a div with class equal to left side. Inside the left side class, we will define the links which will be the top buttons. Copy this and paste it three more times. Change the title to CSS, JavaScript and the last one will be React.js. Now let's save this and open the browser and you can see the links appear. Now let's define the contents of the tabs. Inside the parent container, we will define another div with class equal to right side and one ID name called container ID. Inside this container, we will define four div elements with one common class name called content and one unique id name inside each dev element we will define an h4 element with the text an h2 element with the title and a paragraph And we will also add a button with class equal to btn and text will be enroll now. Now let's copy the whole content class, paste it down below, change the id name to content2, class will be the same content, change the title to css, other contents will remain the same, paste it one more time. Change the ID to content3, class will be the same content. Change the title to JavaScript. Now paste it one more time. Change the ID name to content4. Change the title to React.js. Okay, that's it for the HTML code. Now, if we look at the HTML code, we have a parent container. Inside the parent container, we have two sections, left side and right side. In the left side, we have links, the top buttons. And in the right side, we have four dev elements with one unique ID so that we can select each dev element separately and one common class name called content so that we can target all the four dev elements with the same class name. The second dev element has a unique id content2 and a class called content. The third dev element has an id content3 and a class content. Similarly, the fourth dev element has an id content4 and a class content. You can see the links which are the top buttons and the top contents here. Now let's write the CSS code for this. Okay, we will define the style tags. Select all elements, margin 0, padding 0, and back sizing border box. Now target the body element, min height 100 viewport height, background image. Linear gradient, 45 degree angle, first color and the second color. 
Okay, now let's center the contents vertically and horizontally. Now target the body element, display flex, justify content center, and align items center. Now let's apply the same CSS to the other elements as well. Copy the parent container, paste it, also copy the left side class, copy the right side class, and also copy the content class. Now this style will apply for all these classes. Now let's write the CSS code for the parent container which contain the top buttons and the top contents. Copy the parent container class. Weight will be 60%. Height 260 pixels. Justify content space between. Let's specify the box shadow for the container. Overflow will be hidden. Transform style preserve 3D. Transform perspective 800 pixels. So this is the container. Now let's write the CSS code for the class called right side which contains the top contents. Copy the class right side. Flex basis 75%. Align items center. Height will be inherit. Position will be relative. Transform style preserve 3D. Transition 1 second. Transform. Now save this. And you can see it has no visual effect, but it will once we position the inside contents of this container. Now let's go back to the code editor. Okay, let's target the content class. Position will be absolute. Background image will be linear gradient. 35 degree, first color and the second color. Weight will be 100%. Height will be inherit. Flex direction, column, align items, flex start, padding will be 20 pixels, border 1 pixel solid and the color, transform style, preserve 3D. Since we set the position property of the child devs to absolute, it overlaps each other and exists on the top of each other. So that is what we wanted. Now we need to position this text on the top right corner. Target the H4 element. Position will be absolute. Top 20 pixels, right 20 pixels, and opacity 0 0.5. Now let's underline it. Now copy this, paste it after content will be nothing, position absolute 
weight will be 100 percent height one pixel background color top will be 100 percent and left will be zero okay now we need to style this text target the h2 element inside the class content there is an element h2 font size will be 26 pixels color padding bottom 10 pixels margin top minus 15 pixels also target the paragraph element font size will be 18 pixels opacity 0 0.8 now refresh the browser okay now we need to style the button target the button class position will be absolute bottom 20 pixels right 20 pixels border will be none outline none padding will be 12 pixels from the top and bottom 18 pixels from the right and left background color color will be white text transform uppercase border radius 5 pixels cursor pointer and translation all 0 0.5 seconds refresh it and we have a nice button now let's add a hover effect to the button copy this paste it on hover background color specify the color okay now we need to write the css code for the class called left side which contains the top buttons target the class left side flex basis 25 percent height inherit background color and flex direction column now we need to style the links inside it target the anchor tag inside the class left side there are anchor tags width 90 percent padding 15 pixels margin 3 pixels to the top and bottom 0 pixels to the left and right text decoration none text align center text transform uppercase color will be white specify the background color border radius will be 25 pixels and translation all 0 0.5 seconds and we have nice buttons now let's add hover effect to the buttons copy the above paste it on hover background color will be a little dark red now refresh it and we have a nice hover effect on the buttons next we need to write the CSS code for the child devs in the right side since the child devs overlaps and exist on the top of each other we will translate and rotate them to form a cube shape 
now let's target the div with id equal to content1 transform translate z 130 pixels now let's target the second div with id equal to contain2 transform origin will be bottom transform translate z minus 130 pixels rotate x 90 degrees now target the third div with id equal to content3 transform translate z minus 130 pixels rotate x this should be also rotate x 180 degrees now target the fourth div element with id equal to content 4 transform origin will be top transform translate z minus 130 pixels rotate x 90 degrees i'm sorry this should be minus 90 degrees Okay, right now it has no visual effect, but once we add JavaScript, then when we click on the button, it will rotate in a 3D manner. So let's go to the code editor. Okay, inside the anchor tags, we will add a click event, which will call a function called my function. Now copy this function and paste it in all the anchor tags. Inside the function, we will pass arguments, which are actually the values of the rotate x property. Now, let's define the function. First, let's define the script tags inside the body. Function my function. And we will pass a parameter rotate value which will hold the values which we are passing in here let's define a variable x equal to document dot get element by id copy the id container id which represents the dev with class equal to right side paste it here x dot style dot transform equal to rotate x single quote plus copy the rotate value paste it plus degrees now save this and open the browser now when you click on the button oops it's not working there is some problem let's check it okay the concatenation r plus sign should be inside the single quotes now let's save this and refresh the browser now when you click on the button and you can see the contents smoothly changes rotates in a 3d manner now when at the html button you can see the contents rotates smoothly and it keeps on changing smoothly so that's it for this tutorial i hope this class will be helpful for you and you learned something new from it